Hello everyone and welcome to the Vortex where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris coming to you from Davao City in the Philippines. A lot has happened in the Philippines since our trip here last year, much of it bad. Last year, contraception was illegal here in this country. Today, it is as legal as it is in the United States. Now that might not seem very earth shattering for Catholics in other parts of the world who have grown accustomed to the evil of condoms hanging from store shelves in the local drugstore and birth control pills being dispensed over the counter. But in this traditionally Catholic country, this is a huge turn of events. Consider that all not that long ago, all over the country, the day would come to a complete standstill at noon or 6 p.m. so that the entire country could recite the Angelus Prayer, commemorating the Annunciation. Get this, the entire country. Traffic would be stopped, radio stations would interrupt programming, school children will stop, would stop playing, courtrooms would halt their due process, lawmakers would cease debate, all for the one minute recitation of the Angelus all over the country every day. Not anymore. Today, the Philippines is slowly but surely turning into America, complete with the hostile indifference towards religion. Perhaps nothing symbolizes this more than the scene during the recent debate between national lawmakers on whether to legalize contraception. The debate happened last December. A Catholic woman lawmaker stood up in the Filipino Congress and said she would not rest until every Filipino has the right secured by the law to, quote, have safe, satisfying sex. Those words echoing off the chamber walls where a little less than a generation ago, the Angelus could be heard on a daily basis. Today, Filipino lawmakers sound like Nancy Pelosi and dead Ted Kennedy and Joe Biden and John Kerry and Christopher Dodd and all the other turncoat Catholics in the United States government, dozens of them who have helped push America into moral oblivion. Now the dominant language in Filipino politics is about rights, everyone's right to practically anything they can imagine. In fact, had it not been for an enterprising group of stalwart pro-life Catholics monitoring the backroom dealings in the national government, the Philippines would already have same-sex marriage. A second bill, in addition to the contraception law, which is famously called RH for reproductive health, the second bill aimed at preventing any kind of discrimination based on sexual orientation, including marriage. It got to within days of being made law before being exposed and its proponents had to back down. Back down for now anyway, but it's coming. It has passed in both the House and the Senate here in the Philippines. It was merely going through some last minute reconciling when it was discovered and supporters backed down. How much all this moral rot has been creeping into the Philippines and what is coming next was the subject of a nearly two hour meeting we were privileged to have with the Archbishop of Davao, His Excellency Ramulo Valles, an extremely gracious man. He listened and asked many questions. He wanted to know how all of this legal enshrinement of sexual immorality has played itself out in America, what the process was, what can be expected next here in the Philippines. Patiently, he sat listening to our explanation and laying out of what he could expect next, the tactics that would be used, including wholesale use of the media at every level. We talked about strategies for fighting back and combating the diabolical effort of governments and agencies hostile to life and the Catholic faith. And then something a little curious happened. I said to him, Your Excellency, you know that you are this close to becoming just like America in the Philippines. The beautiful Filipino experience of family and community is about to be washed over like a giant tsunami. This close. Then he put his finger and thumb together and said the same thing. He said, this close. And he rubbed his face and his head and he moaned and said, yes, I don't want you to come from America and tell me this, but I know this is true. Four more times during our talk, he said, this close. When a country whose lawmakers and people used to stop and say the Angelus collectively as an entire nation, now are talking about a right to safe, satisfying sex, then yes, it really has come 
this close. God spare the Filipinos. And God love you. I'm Michael Voris coming to you from the Philippines. Sick of TV and its cultural rot? Tune in to churchmilitant.tv and become a premium subscriber where you will get access to fresh shows with solid church doctrine. As a premium subscriber, you'll get hundreds of hours of programming, which includes investigative shows, catechesis, apologetics, church history lessons, and a lot more. What are you waiting for? Forget the bad television and dive into the riches of the Catholic faith for only $10 a month.